Hey guys, I'm Avon, founder of the Kid Film Fest. I'd like to share a few secrets that I use to improve my brick films. Water. If you have a character that would like to jump in the water, simply put them in piece by piece. You can also create water movement by varying blue pieces between shots. Backgrounds. For backgrounds, I like to use foam core or poster board. Blue for sky and black for nighttime or space. You can also use scrapbook paper with images, or if you can't find the right paper, you can use a digital image on an iPad. A more advanced technique is to have the background move. Next time you are in a moving car, look out the window and you'll notice things far away don't move very fast, but things close up like trees, move very fast. This is called parallax. We can create parallax as well by moving our actual set. Things in the foreground will move in larger increments, while things in the background will barely move. Glowing. You can use a flashlight to light up certain pieces, and by covering it with paper, you can use it to add color to your shot. Onion skins. Onion skins? Yes, onion skins. Like these see-through layers of an onion, the onion skin feature of your favorite stop-motion program shows you the previous frame. If an object falls, you can line it back up. It also helps with tracking movement. Frame rates. Since stop-motion animation is a series of pictures, the number of pictures, or frames, per second can make a big difference. A one minute film at eight frames per second would take 480 pictures. At 24 frames per second, the same film would take 1,440 pictures. One way to cheat is to reuse frames by duplicating them. Many animators use this at the beginning and end of a shot. Camera movement. We can achieve Hollywood-like movements by carefully moving the camera between each shot. I hope these tricks help bring your brick films to the next level. Check out more building and filming tips by clicking up here.